Hi everyone, long time no see. Um, I've been pretty busy over the weekend, so that's why I haven't been posting stuff. Um, I haven't really been buying anything, uh, but you know, Christmas gifts. So today I have this gorgeous little pink box here from Stationery Pal. I actually ordered this the week of Thanksgiving and it finally came in. Um, so let me go ahead and open it. Now, I actually have opened it already because I was so curious. I wasn't actually going to film this video, but I was like, you know what? I need to film it before I really take stuff out. So let's get started. So this was a bitch to take off. I was trying to save the sticker because I want to stick it in my, um, you know, in my Hobonichi um, for, I guess you could say for tomorrow. I'm just going to, you know, write about it in um, my page for tomorrow. But look at how cute this little bubble wrap is. It's got hearts on it. That is so adorable. So this is my first time ordering from Stationery Pal. I think they had like a Black Friday code and that's what made me want to go ahead and put the order in. Um, I've been eyeing them for quite a while. Um, you know, so finally made the jump. Now this stuff right here, I can't stand this kind of stuff. It's just a waste, it gets everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and um, move this card and then I'm gonna to try to take out as much as I can and dump it in the trash can over here because I have no use for this and um, I hate shred. I don't like using it with my stuff because it's just, it gets everywhere. And I know other people who probably don't like it. So that's why I don't use it. But I mean, it's cute aesthetically, but yeah, no. So let's go ahead and get out as much as we can. So, all right. So the first thing we have here is the card. It's a, a nice little postcard. And here is a thank you from Stationery Pal. Includes, um, I guess this is their Instagram and their TikTok. I don't do TikTok, so I'll probably scan it for the Instagram. But um, yeah, so they apparently are, there's some like influencer codes out there. So I guess you could probably just um, look on uh, either Instagram or probably on YouTube. Just type in Stationery Pal, you'll probably pull up somebody's code and you can use that. So I, from what I've heard, they do include a lot of freebies. So let's just go ahead and pull those out. So these two right here, I noticed right away, is like, I didn't order those. <laughs> and this little bear, um, I guess, are part of the freebies. Look at that, it comes with a little cute hat. So these are cute. Um, I don't know how they write, but if they're, you know, I might just give them to my nieces because they like pink and purple and they're, uh, they've are they got a lot of colors in there. I don't really have any need for it. I don't know if this is gonna stick on the bear. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna fit. I might have to like sew it on him, but this is so cute. And he does have a little um, loop here, so if you wanted to, you could stick him like on your purse. He's a little wonky though, but that's okay. It's too adorable. All right, so first things. These are platinum preppy pens. Um, and believe it or not, they were only six bucks on the website. I couldn't resist, so I went ahead and grabbed the mint green. And I thought I ordered a purple, but I guess it's a gray. Um, I gotta figure out though what this thing is, because I've never seen this before. So I might have to look it up. So this is the pen. Whatever this is, I'll figure it out. Um, there we go. Very nice. I don't know. I'm just getting addicted to ordering platinum preppy pens. So if you can see the nib here, there's a design on it, which sold me on it. So cute. And I got the fine nib. I wouldn't, I think this does. Yeah, it does. I can feel it. It comes with a cartridge. I think it's black, which is good. Um, I haven't gotten to ordering like, you know, the other kind of cartridges where you could put your own ink in. I just haven't gotten around to that yet because I haven't really used up any ink on any of my fountain pens. So I'm happy. I'm really excited to use these two. So let's put that aside. Um, so yes, I've been seeing these cats on Instagram 
and these were how much were these i think i don't know i'm gonna have to look maybe they were like a two dollars maybe less than two dollars so they're supposed to hold your pens okay so i'm going to take them out of the bags just cut it off so let's do this one right here so you're supposed to be able to i'm going to move this to the side here i don't know if you can be able to see so you lay it not lay it but well this guy doesn't want to like this box was sitting out in the cold, so they might be a little warped a little bit, but it's supposed to stand and it's supposed to balance your pen on it like that. Okay. Um, pretty much it would look like that, but yeah, he's not staying up. <clears throat> I hope that I didn't get a screwed up cat because that would suck. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to actually use them to hold my pens up. See this dude standing up and come on, come on. Maybe it's the pen. Let's try this one. Yeah. What? Hello. There we go. He's <laughs> holding the pen up. It looks kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so they were sold out on some of the other colors, but that's okay. I think I was trying to get the uh, orange tabby also. I'm more of a dog fan, although I do have a cat. <laughs> I don't know if, if I've told you guys about the cat before. It used to be my brother's cat until the cat decided he wanted to scratch my nephew's face when he was learning how to crawl. Um, so that cat is now our cat. It's an outdoor cat. It's right now living in the garage she has don't worry about her because she's got a heater in there because that's where my parents store all of their uh plants outdoor plants for the winter so she's uh she's pretty happy in there and she'll meow when she wants to come out you know when we when she wants to go out so we'll let her out and then she'll appear at my window by my desk to let me know that she wants to go back in the garage and so I'll go down there and open the garage so she is sleeping in a box with her favorite cushion surrounded by a lot of uh, calamansi plants and um, a heater so there we go so it looks like I got six cats okay so I did get some washi I don't think I have these colors and they're really pretty so of course grid washi i've got like this wine color this i might have this color already but i'm not sure it's never it's never it's not it's always a good thing to have extra grid washi um this like i guess it's like a salmon color and then this light blue this uh it's not light blue i'm trying to think of what to call it it's a little more blue i don't know <laughs> anyways they give me a fair amount so um, I'm curious to see the quality of this washi. If I can find it here. Let's see if it's pretty, um, if it's opaque or sheer. Here we go. Yeah, it's not bad. It's like pretty much like the other ones that I've bought before. Okay. I'll move this back here. All right. So then I did get some stamps. Oh my God. Okay. I guess I can use these with my my collage book okay um a lot of these items that i got were like a dollar so i think these stamps were also a dollar so i got this one right here okay thought that was cute this one right here want to cry oh from the days when i just uh actually must be upside down there we go <laughs> when i'm not feeling feeling it and then this one like tired i was gonna use i'm gonna use these in my hobonichi to scrub my moods okay so i did get a lot of stickers and like uh pads let's see let me find the other one to this because so i know i ordered like four of them so i've been seeing these um on aliexpress and some other websites and they were only a dollar so I know I got four of them. 
Maybe that's it. Huh. It's hiding underneath one of these. Nope. Okay. So I got the moon because um, cancer and um, I am rising Scorpio. Was it rising Scorpio? My sun and my moon are in the moon. <laughs> Something like that. I, I have to go and look it up. So I got Earth, obviously, and I can't remember what this one is. But I think they're really cute. So I got those. I did get some of these flake stickers. I don't know who these Oh, San X. Nice. So I got these for like a buck each. Um, I got these like Tokyo... Hayori. So they're little, um, like, I don't even know what to call them. They're not tags. They're just little, you know, snippets of, like, places in, um, I guess in Tokyo. These were a dollar also. So hopefully this is in focus. Okay. These are stickers, I guess. Like, this one's the Supreme Store. Um... Some like vellum pieces, but I think there's stuff written on them. Yeah, there's stuff written on them in Japanese. It'd be hard for me to show you right now. And then, yeah, these. I'm gonna have to use Google Translate to figure out what they say. I mean, I was just curious. They're only a buck, so you know, no, nothing wrong with that. So let's see what else. I got these little. Memo pads. I think they're memo pads, unless it's a sticker book. I don't know. I mean, oh, okay, yeah. They're only a buck. These are nice. Um, like aesthetic, you know, pieces for like the collage stuff that I've been doing lately. Here's another one. This one. I forgot what the theme is. Travel, it looks like. So, hold this up. Hopefully it's gonna focus. Hold on, it's not focusing. Okay, there we go. So you get a fair amount, you know? It's not bad for a buck. Oh gosh, this confetti. All right, so I got a memo pad here. Um, this is a grid one, which is cute. It's a smaller grid. I do have some other ones, but that one's pretty cute. This one says Breakdown City. I'm not gonna take them out, but this is what's on the inside. Not the confetti. <laughs> so it's like that Tokyo one. And then we've got um, also a dollar. I think I might, do I have this one already? I don't think so. Um, but I think I have something similar to this. So there are like tickets and just the same thing on here, special delivery. I'm not gonna take that out because it'll probably be hard to put back in and I'm one of those people that has to put stuff back in. Okay, so I did get some of these um, sticky memos in different colors. They're just little like slice dots is what I call them. <laughs> um, I got this sticker sheet here and this is also san x it's not bad very very tiny um it's a little bit hard to see them on the website but that's okay i mean they're just a dollar you know um here's another one of those aesthetic pieces this one make sure that it's in focus okay uh here's another one of like various grid papers in different sizes. You know, good for sticking down and writing on them. Um, so these are, I think, rub-on stickers. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Um, I think these are, yeah, it's Japanese. So, you know, you've got like food restaurant stuff 
Um, I got these stickers here with different, you know, sayings and stuff. Um, let me see. Also, like I said, a lot of these are just a dollar. All right, so are they even cut out? Yeah, they are. Okay, so there's like one of this, and then it's almost like similar to what like uh, our atelier includes in her stuff, somewhat. <laughs> um, like postmarks here, uh, more sayings. I guess it's, oh, I can see it now. They're washi strips. So this one here, where is it? Yeah, I can see they're very thin um, that you can peel off. So it's gonna be interesting to use. You know, it's funny is that I was checking the tracking on this and I saw that it said delivered earlier today. <laughs> I checked it and it said that um, it was on its way. So when I checked again and I saw it was delivered, I'm like, what? Because the ring didn't go off. And I went downstairs, opened the door and there it was. The good thing is that the um, they hid it, you know, behind the porch. So um, nobody could see it because it's a, you know, a pretty bright pink um, package. So um, yeah, that's why I'm filming this at 10 o'clock at night because that's when I realized, you know, oh, they you know, it was delivered. Okay, so here's more stickers, once again from Senex. Okay, so these are starting to come out. It's a box of stickers, um, and they are drinks. So I'm gonna bring this up really close. So those are basically the ones that are in there. Oh yeah, I forgot I had ordered these. So these are also stickers. Um, this one are outfits and like accessories. I think it was like called fashionable. This one, I like the girls. It had like floating whales. Okay, uh, here we go. This is what's on the back and I'll show you the other one too. So they're just a dollar. And here's the other one with the different outfits. I wish, excuse me, I'd ordered two because these are really cute. Okay, so. Okay, and then here's another one super cute just a dollar and here's what's on the inside okay wow I guess I ordered more than I thought here because I think these are at the very top of the page for the one dollar bin and that's probably why I ordered three of them okay and then the last of the stickers ah yes I need this to finish off my freaking Japan insert so uh, now it's funny I ordered this pit glue what happened was that I ordered this and then I happened to be looking on Amazon after I put my order in and saw that I could order five tubes for like I think it was like $13 you know and I was like I mean I'd already ordered this because apparently this is a limited edition um, try to remember I was looking for it when I was in Japan and I think the reason why I didn't get it because I was like it seemed like it was a little pricey and this was a dollar 25 maybe on the website so I ordered it and then of course I ordered on Amazon and got that before I even got this and at first I was kind of like uh -huh, it's not working out as well but I guess I had to kind of use it a couple of times but now it's like my favorite glue for collage work because one it's um, a little wet, but it's, um, of course, it disappears. The color disappears after you it dries up. But man, this stuff really sticks. Like I've been using, um, I've been using Elmer's like, what is it called, Extreme? I don't have it here. Um, it's at my desk. But I also got this one from the Dollar Tree now. This one, I don't like. This is by Avery. And, um, I don't know, I might have to, you know, try it again. But this stuff is like the bomb. Now I see why people talk about the pit glue sticks. It's just so, it's just great. So I might order another pack of five, so that way I will never run out. But I've definitely gone through like my first tube. I'm already like almost halfway. 
I've been using it for all my collage work and it's just amazing. So yeah, I just want to always make sure I have it on hand. So I do have several of the, um, the Elmer's, the extreme glue, glue stick, um, cause they were pretty cheap over at, um, Ollie's when I saw them. So that's why I, I got some backups, but now I actually prefer this, but I'll still use the, the Elmer's, you know, and the last thing I got was this tiny traveler's notebook. This was probably the most expensive thing that I, out of the whole order. I don't remember how much it was, but I, I remember I, I kept taking it out of the cart and then putting it back. Cause I was like, do I really want to spend that much? I mean, it wasn't that pricey, but still. So it comes with the little keychain loop thingy here. I think this is ridiculous. Like, honestly, they could have like, you know, used a smaller, bead or what, whatever you want to call that because it just looks ridiculous on there but um, yeah so it is actually made out of leather just like I have no nails so it's hard to like open okay so as you can see it is made out of leather and it has a tiny warped insert <laughs> oh, I might have to make my own insert the paper is like rough I mean, I don't intend on writing on this. I just thought it was really cute. I think it would be cute to hang it on my actual traveler's notebook. Um, let me see if I can put this loop in there. I don't know where it's supposed to go. Where are you supposed to loop this? Okay, I think I figured it out, but I'm not gonna waste time doing that on camera. So yeah, this is the order that I made with Stationery Pal and yeah i'm pretty happy with it i'm probably going to order but i'm going to wait until after the new year to put another order because i was reading everybody else got their stuff like what in two weeks or something like that and this took like almost a, well actually it did it took a month it sat there it said that they would process the uh, stuff within 48 hours and it took like i don't know something like freaking five days before they finally processed it actually no i think i put the order in on the 22nd november 22nd and they didn't freaking like you know fulfill the order until december 2nd i mean it's coming from china so there's no excuse in terms of like it was the holiday yeah you guys don't c celebrate thanksgiving so what the f but anyways um for the price you know it's not bad i know you can get this stuff on aliexpress um, but I wanted to try, you know, stationary pal. So I still have yet to order stuff again from, um, what do you call it? From AliExpress. I don't know. Um, I just don't know one, the rate, the shipping rates have gone up. So it's like you're paying individually for the shipping. I don't remember how much I paid on shipping with this, <coughs> but, um, it's not bad. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, so that is everything I got. So um, I'll try to find a code and maybe post it um, in the description when I post this uh, video up. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post it. Hopefully, maybe I'll post it on Friday. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, so that's my haul from uh, Stationery Pal. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys are having a great week um, of Christmas and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.